hello everyone, it is that time again, it is time for Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time tonight, this is the show where I give a couple of talented illustrators goofy prompts and we ramp them up over time, but we don't give them any time to really do it. So it gets real goofy looking. Anyway, let's get to the event! I see you down there giving me that tweet reminder, and you are right. Also, I forgot to turn the music on, so there we go. <laughs> Quality production today. Anyway, joining me today, over on the left-hand side, we have Adrienne, a.k.a. Hello, happy to be here. And we have, over on the right, Spooky Dinosaur. Returning from the grave from once <laughs> Adrian destroyed me last time. <laughs> I've come back to reclaim my art talent you've taken from me. <laughs> and with that, the music begins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I destroyed you last time you destroyed me, but... <laughs> oh, I've come back from the dead. Don't you see my brains are exposed with ghosts around me? <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> oh, spooky! <laughs> So, we can clearly see that both of these artists have been practicing hard since the last time they were on the show. And the question now is, are you ready for your goofy prompts? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Give it to us! Alright, then it begins. I'm gonna save this real quick, because man, this is just really good. I don't want it to be lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I will condemn it to the void. Because, man, we don't just get out of here. Well, of course, condemn it to the void. There's so much space there, you can just fill it with everything. All right, we're going to begin with our traditional opener, where we draw on a squiggle. Okay. This is a spooktacular special, after all. <laughs> I think that's, that's a good, good starting point for some spook. <laughs> I like it. Let me just bring one of these over here for you as well, my friend. It'll be hard to draw without a squiggle of my own. I have delivered for you a squiggle. No worries. No worries. And with this, I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to draw this squiggle. Whatever, whatever it may be speaking to you in your heart and soul. Are you ready to launch into it? No, no, it's pretty scary. Uh. Alright, here goes three, two, one, from the heart. Come on. Uh, what, what layer is this on? Uh, it's on my dumb layer for idiot hosts. Go ahead and draw on whichever layer you like. Oh no, I need to. Oh, it's literally called dumb layer for idiot hosts. <laughs> <laughs> one or two is good. Do you want it up on one or two? Sure. I'm on one. I'm on. Uh... There you go. It's up on layer one now. I'm Time to is a ticking, my man. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have to scrap everything that I wanted to do, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the circus. <laughs> I gotta just move this microphone, Moody Joe. It's, it's a little directional. Aww. Oh. Onion boy. It's not an onion. Oh, it's not. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a candy. It's not a candy. It's not a candy. God damn it. What am I doing? <laughs> 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 
as you were then. Try. Try one more time. <laughs> is it is it a pumple crang? It's a pumpkin. Oh, it's a pumple crang. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I still don't know what these like spike things coming out of them are, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not on my game yet, okay? Just give me a little bit. Project Zen knows what's up. That is that is why we are on the warm-up round. It's for the warming up that you gotta do. That's right. Remember, folks, if you at home are also confused about what is going on and would like us to draw <laughs> something different, you can enter exclamation point submit, and it will take you to a nice handy little link where you can suggest things for us to draw. Oh, yeah. Mine's a scary monster. That is time. Pens down, artists. Huh? Pens That's down. Oh, shoot. That's I underestimated how much time I had. Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that two minutes runs faster than you think. I'm going to do better next time. What do you mean better? That is incredible. <laughs> it's an onion with a, that's wrapped, it's a candy wrapper onion. It is beautiful. But you know what would make it more beautiful? If it was playing a really sweet guitar. Mmm, yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm going to give you guys <laughs> two minutes to include some really sweet guitars in this mix. Do you guys need to resize, move anything, anything good like that? Yeah, that's what uh, I was attempting to do the first time, but... Oh, uh, I can talk you through that real quick. Hold on. You just get your selection tool. Drag it around the thing, and go. then wiggle it around. All right, and the original was on what layer? It, it is on Wobble's dumb layer for idiot hosts, but it seems like you okay. guys want to manipulate the original directly, which is frankly a little strange. I haven't <laughs> had that come up yet. So let me figure out what layer all y'alls are on. Just kind of do the move like a helpful person and give you okay i'm good oh you got it yeah oh my oh geez what have i done <gasps> oh geez oh what God. have i done <laughs> okay it's back <laughs> straight up trying to give me a huge advantage against her mm -hmm. <laughs> tremendous all right are you guys ready to add some sweet guitars before i destroy all of the art with my bumbling how about you destroy the layer, the lines uh, that aren't on my layer any longer? <laughs> see how I have two of those squiggles? One oh, yeah. giant. I see those. Uh, there we go. Alright, I got them. They're gone now. They can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> ready for some sweet guitar action? I'm ready. Do it. All right. I am going to erase the extra lines that are behind your stuff now. Yeah. God damn it! No! Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is uh, this is entirely on me this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got it figured out. Two minutes for guitars. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> we got three, two, one. Van Halen. Oh, never. I don't uh, have a reason to. But no. I don't. Now we're gonna have to draw the best guitar, right? I don't honestly know if I've ever drawn a guitar in my life. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I can be opening new doors for you. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. So is your um, drawing a pumpkin? Or it's, well, yeah. Have you? <laughs> wait, wait, stop, stop there. Have I ever seen a pumpkin before? Is that what you're gonna ask? No, I'm gonna ask if you carved any yet for this for this season. Do I have a pumpkin yet? Yes. I don't. I know. I um, am very ill prepared for Halloween, and it's my favorite time of year. So. No, um... <laughs> oh no, you don't want to talk about it. Well, that just makes me curious. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to shut you down. 
Mm-hmm. Tell me right. about tell me about your pumpkins. Thirty seconds. Wow. My pumpkins, I grow all mine, but I accidentally didn't grow any carving pumpkins. Yeah, I'm a I'm a pumpkin fiend. I love pumpkin. That blows me away. You actually just you just have a pumpkin patch in the backyard? Yes. Uh I actually grew there are more Hubbard squash and some um some what is it sugar sweet pumpkins because I'll make pretty much everything with pumpkin in it. So pies, cakes, your car. Yeah, I drive a pumpkin car. Pens down, everyone. <laughs> Pens down. Mine's blown. We might have to throw that in reverse because these these are excellent, but I feel like we need more pumpkins on the screen. Oh. So I'm going to give you guys two minutes to add as many pumpkins as you can to this image. Anywhere you'd like. <laughs> are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Three, yep. Two, one, pumpkin race. Spooky Dino going for the micro pumps. I'm just going for the fan service, if you're wondering what's happening here. <laughs> oh, adding the bees. Pumpkin bees. That's just good beesness. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Legs made of pumpkins. Yeah. Pumpkin As in, legs. we would have gourd legs with the um, the stringy, gooey bits on the inside, or are you talking about just stringy, gooey bits as your legs? Oh, oh I wasn't even thinking about stringy, gooey bits. It's, it's a little more Disney than that. <laughs> that is so wholesome. <laughs> This is going to be really fast, but I don't know if you can read what I'm writing up at the top. Oh, we can. Okay. <laughs> well, I can. Let me, let me allow the audience because the UI is a little bit. David S. Pumpkin. <laughs> Any relation to Ralph S. Mouse? No, you don't. Do you know David S. Pumpkins? No. <laughs> it's David S. Pumpkins. Any questions? <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> David S. Pumpkins has joined the fray. <laughs> you want to have pumpkins in here? You got to have the pumpkin, David S. Pumpkin. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Something is happening, artists. Something is happening in this image that makes the sound hoink. I'm gonna need you to add that, and I'm gonna give you two minutes. We are T-minus two minutes to hoink. How do you feel? Are you prepared? Dinosaur, did you die again? Die what? There you are. Okay. No, I'm still here. I'm just adding dramatic, um, like suspense. Suspenseful tension. I see Adrienne drawing suspenseful cheating down there what? on the image. We're not ready, Adrienne. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't even hear the end buzzer, honestly. Are we good now? Okay. Sorry, I just got very distracted. I'm drawing something on on his side. <laughs> oh, is that what's going on? Uh, no, no. We're something is happening, artists, and it is making the noise. Wink. <laughs> and 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 we watch and wait, or. Are we supposed to do something? No, no, that is what you were drawing. You are drawing the thing that goes hoink 
in the night. Okay. Are on you... our own. Yes. Sure. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm good. Are you, are you prepared? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then it is gonna be three, two, one. Hoink! I assure you guys at home, this is an actual prompt for realsies. <laughs> Someone submitted <laughs> this. I don't know what makes a hoink sound. That's that's unfortunate. There's only one thing that makes a hoink <laughs> sound. Uh, are you gonna tell me what it is? I won't you're tell gonna anyone. you're gonna draw it. <laughs> you're in the middle of drawing it. I see. Well, I think a pumpkin bee falling and crashing to the floor and cracking open might make that sound. <laughs> kind of violent, but... Marvelous. <laughs> I'll just get myself off the screen there. Whoops! That's me knocking things over on my desk. <laughs> Tonight has been a night of technical accomplishment and professionalism. I'm sorry, folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this an ooky spooky pig? It is what goes hoink in the night. Stop coloring those lines. <laughs> that is super cute. It's a little pig ghost. It's so precious. I'm looking. Oh, right. It's always great when I'm trying to figure out the, the uh, setup on this to click my brushes and stuff, and I'm just like, where is everything? Oh, I'm on the wrong uh, mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> 10 second warning. So you know, it is my where pork you pig that Pins goes down artists. You're saying you're oh. where pork you pig? Yeah, I'm it's a pork you pig. We go hoink in the night. <laughs> On that note, spooky dinosaur, can you take me through your entire multiple part band here? Like, what part does everyone play in this particular bit of theater? Well, you got your big monster guy with his sick ass tongue that's whipping out playing the rockin' gatoons on his guitar. Gatoons. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his pal David S. Pumpkins who brings all the uh, the crowd over to the show just being <laughs> David S. Pumpkins. No one knows why he's there or even what he's there for. They're just curious as to who David Pumpkins is and why he's has an S in his name with the Porky Pig where <laughs> Porky Pig laying down the lyrics going hoink hoink <laughs> <laughs> and causing mad uh, mosh crowds in the oh at the shows my God. now adrienne i have a similar question about <laughs> your arrangement here but specifically what part in the musical act do the pumpkin bees play they're there for moral support, 100%. <laughs> so my my pumpkin musician, he's a little bit self-conscious because he has these big spikes growing out of his side, and nobody's really sure what they're for or why they exist. <laughs> and so and so these little bees just they just look at him and they're like, "You're important. You're special. You have value. <laughs> you have and, legs." <laughs> yeah. And it just keeps them going. So. Now, yeah. are the legs related to the pumpkin bees? Because that might upset some of them. <laughs> they have the same face. No, he was just born that way. These are the pumpkin are they... bees' knees. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think. That was pretty good. No, he was, he was just born that way, Nathan. Gosh. And then the, un the unfortunate dead pumpkin that someone threw on the ground that's probably upsetting the bees and the, the pumpkin guitarist. Yeah, well, that that just happened. So the next like panel would be the reaction to that, and let's just not draw that because that'd be so sad. <laughs> now that you've grown, since that uh, idea is now up in the wind with Wobbly Python able to throw anything at us, 
You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It might happen. It might happen. But I don't think it's going to happen this round, because this art is finito, I believe. Take it away. Oh, I will. I will. This art is dead to all of us. It is gone forever. It's as soon as I figure out what line and what layer it's on. There it is! I found it! <laughs> gonna make your layer. You'll never be able to delete any art. Alright then, artists. With this in mind, it is time to begin our second round. And I have, from the crowd, a submission. I need Ooh. you both to render for me an illustration of Big Mama Mushroom! Oh, okay. I'm gonna give you three minutes to craft this image of Big Mama Mushroom. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Wait on us. Alright. Well, then that is gonna be three, two, one, Big Mama Mushroom! Now, I think that both Nathan or Spooky Dinosaur and I have definitely drawn mushrooms before. Um, you just yeah, seem like the probably. kind of guy that would be draw that would draw mushrooms on occasion. Well, other than pumpkins that I enjoy eating, mushrooms is also my like top <gasps> food to eat. That is the same with me. Mm. You love pumpkins and mushrooms? Oh, Pump I love mushrooms. Pump shrooms? Pump shrooms? I'm okay with pumpkin. I'm not like all up in this pumpkin spice lattes and... Well, and that's the thing too, is that sometimes they go way too far with the pumpkin spice, but I actually do quite enjoy just like straight pumpkin. Just like what I was saying, I like pumpkin soups, pies, uh, cakes, whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's just... Just the taste of pumpkin to me is like very nice on my palate so <laughs> very savory still sweet a little bit it's well like yeah, it depends on the okay you want to get into it i'll give you some depth on some pumpkin get stuff get gritty give me all the deeds the so there's your butternut squash with the nutty savory flavor to it now hubbard squash has a more God. soft flesh instead of the stringy um, bits like your jack-o'-lanterns or your more traditional pumpkins. They make great pies being sweeter, softer flesh. Butternut is also probably more what you find in cans of pumpkin known as purees. But they're actually probably more squash than they are actual pumpkin. What is happening? We're going, we're going I, into flavors. I love it. You just gotta, you just gotta know. That's all. <laughs> Don't ride a mushroom, mushroom prompt rose doodle. You're darn tootin', it's Big Mama Mushroom. Who's only got 45 more seconds to become a thing. Oh dear. Go for stereotype mushroom. Woohoo! Got it. Aw oh, yeah! Oh, when you start getting fancy on me. Mm -hmm. He's busting out the colors. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Adrian. Man. You guys went for, for a couple of different kinds of mushroom there. Well, my big mama's more retown than hers, so sorry about that. Oh, no. It's, more what? It's all right. <laughs> Who isn't into a nice, thick mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say she's Portobello, but she's definitely... Or, I mean, uh, what is that, the mushroom? That is um, it, artist. That's time. Pens down. This is <laughs> Big Mama Mushrooms. <laughs> you know who always goes with Big Mama Mushroom everywhere she goes? Who? <laughs> Rose Doodle, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. It is not Rose Doodle, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. It is, in fact, the goodest boy. The goodest boy. I need you to draw the goodest boy for Mama Mushroom in two minutes. Are you ready? <laughs> Rose Doodle, <laughs> that notification pops up because you are helping us out. All the shares, all the likes, all the subscribes, all the follows, everything helps us out. And for that, you get your 10 seconds on screen. I'll be danged if you don't. <laughs> anyway, 
Sorry to, to derail again, artists. Are you ready to draw the goodest boy? Yes. Yes. All right, well, then I'm going to count you down. It is three, two, one. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you. Such a good boy. Oh. Good boy. Spooky dinosaur, give him that head start again. Adrian, have you done any uh, Halloween parties or anything yet this year? Nope. I haven't. No? No okay. parties? No. no parties. Are you going to? I'm so boring. You don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or are you gonna dress up at least? I don't dress up. You, have you ever? Mm, when I was a kid. So what was your favorite um, costume to dress up as as a kid? Ah, uh, let me think about that. See, I, I just say... dress up as spooky twenty something every year. It's me, but in a cape. <laughs> um. Hmm. Fifty seconds, artists. Ah. Uh. Old, good old vampire. I love vampires. Oh, yeah? You know, that was the costume I always went with as a kid, uh, probably because we were too poor to get costumes all the time, but mm -hmm. uh, being raised uh, religious, I already had like half the costume already ready for it. So I think I went <laughs> as... I went as a vampire probably... probably... 10 seconds. 10 years or so of my life. So... It was a fan favorite, I guess, of mine. <laughs> That's awesome. What was your favorite costume? Ooh, favorite costume. I've done more That's lately. It. Pens down. Um, Pens down, artists. <laughs> These are some good boys. But I'm going to need you guys to come together for this next prompt. Join in righteous artistic harmony. Because... These, these big mama mushrooms and their good boys are out in the woods. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to establish the woods. The woods. Are you prepared? You got good feels about it? Well, no, it's the woods. They're spooky. So I've got spooky, got spooky He's got feels. spooky feels about it. I have spooky feels about it. <laughs> Well, as soon as you can overcome your trepidation, let me know and I will count us down. I'm ready. Yes. Three, Let's... two, one. Spooky. I think we should ask uh, Obsidian Foxer in the chat what their costume is. Yes, Obsidian Foxer, please enlighten us. Expand. Also, Rose Doodle, I am not allowed to stay home in my birthday costume because that is indecent and I have to run a family friendly program here. So I've been working with my eraser this whole time. In case anybody's like, what's Adrian doing? Adrian <laughs> doesn't know what Adrian's doing. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I just keep working on, like, why isn't anything showing up? There we go. Now the woods are starting to take shape here. <laughs> Thank you for that follow, <laughs> dipstick. Now, my favorite costume I've done. Um, yeah. Done some pretty good ones, like of late. Um, I've enjoyed dressing up as some of my D and D characters. Those were always mm -hmm. exciting. I did like an alchemist, but. Um, Last year's Edgar Allan Poe turned out really well. Oh my gosh, oh, I no, remember no. that one. Was that last year? Or was I it think, the year before? I'm pretty sure that was last year. Probably. Isn't it? Ooh, Obsidian Fox is gonna be Chara from Undertale with a creepy melting <gasps> face. Oh my goodness. I'm on board. That sounds super cool. How much time do we have left? You have three minutes still to continue establishing these spooky woods. Okay. What? 
So just the vampire for you then? What was your favorite costume? Oh man. I think... To be honest, I don't remember. I remember so- I, I have really bad- this is sad. I have really bad memory when I was little. I don't remember much at all. Like, here we go. Like, if I've got, if someone in chat right now is my family member, like if my brother or my sister are on, they can probably tell me. <laughs> they might be I can, able to. I can tell you what I've dressed my girls up as. Okay. Yeah. Tell us. Okay. Tell us. I'm excited so to know. Cool. So, this is cool. So, my oldest girl at the time when she was four, I got her into Inuyasha. You all know what Inuyasha is. Sit. No, it's Inuyasha Kugome! Inuyasha Kugome! Canada! <laughs> okay, so. We're definitely uh, not weebs here. No, no, no. Yeah, definitely not. So, yeah, so anyway, I sewed, I, I, and I don't know how to sew, but I figured it out. A traditional, feudal, Japanese era costume for Red. at the time my little four year old girl, uh, and she was the most badass in Yasha I've ever seen. So she won costume contests. People thought I was like the super domestic mom that like knew how to sew and uh, <laughs> and no, I just know how to like throw things together. Oh, so my brother did talk. I did I did dress up as Anna from Overwatch for Comic Con. I was, I was yeah. going to say that I know that you dress up for cons, so you can't really be um you can't really say that you don't dress up. Right. Yeah, I was kind of fixed in the mindset of just like Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. But if we talk about other things I do like to dress up. I do too. I really wish that we could get away with more costume holidays throughout the year. Like, just Halloween is such a shame. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are some you can do, but it's just... They're not the same, so... We've got radically different iterations of the spooky woods going on here. Hey, she thinks pine trees are spooky. I think leafless trees are spooky. <laughs> You know, either way, it means I'm outside, and therefore I am uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> Gorephobic. <laughs> Sometimes. Arborophobic. Mostly when spooky woods are involved. You're just like, no, just nature. Just don't like, yeah. you know, living. Sneezing. Yeah, free. <laughs> just don't like, you know, living. <laughs> <laughs> Artists, uh, that is your five minutes. That is pens down. Ah, uh, we are cool. all good on this front because the spooky woods are here. But you know who's out in the spooky woods? Trick or treaters. Oh no, wait! It's our best friend Cinderblock out trick or treating. Oh, how good to run into our best friend Cinderblock out trick or treating. I'm gonna give mm -hmm. you guys two minutes to add our best friend Cinderblock out trick or treating to the image. Should wait? Should, should I know who Cinderblock is? No, no one knows. <laughs> How could you not know? He's our best friend, the Cinderblock. Okay. Goodness Just play along, Adrian. Okay. We're prisoners, remember? <laughs> if you guys don't draw the Cinderblock, then you don't get fed. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna lock me down with Uncle Rusty. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. I don't want to go to his underground erotic farm equipment emporium. <laughs> That's still oh on the prompt list. God. I scroll past it every now and then. I have to think about it. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I'm going to give you two minutes to add our best friend, Cinderblock, out trick-or-treating. It's going to be three, two, one. Go for it. So I want to address the comment uh, in chat that it's a curvy mushroom lady and mm -hmm. say that the prompt was... What was it? <laughs> Big, Big Mama, Mama mushroom. mushroom. Big Mama Mushroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so Big that... Mama is big. Big Mama, big mama Thick. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, KP. Wow! <laughs> A dog, my man! <laughs> Bringing you all them big bits... Big, big mama mushroom actions. 
Saturdays. <laughs> Every Saturday at 7. 9 Eastern, sorry. <laughs> Alright, there's holes in cinder blocks, right? No, don't look at cinder blocks. Spooky bit. Why? <laughs> don't even know that they're a thing. Cinder blocks don't exist. <laughs> cinder blocks are a myth. <laughs> Our best friend Cinderblock is looking really good tonight. I'm really impressed. 30 seconds! Project Zen is demanding spooks. I'm not gonna finish my cinder block guy. <laughs> oh my. My little cinder block, he's wanting to trick or treat, but this big mama mushroom's being a bitch, man. She's just looking at him. <laughs> she doesn't think he's dressed up. She's like, yeah. She's like, I know you don't. You're not wearing a costume. I can tell you're 14 years old. You're That's too old time. to be trick or treating. <laughs> I see that we do have our best friend Cinderblock, who's dressed up as though he has a body, and then he's also dressed up as Slenderbrick. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the woods. He's he's spooking it up out there, looking for candy apparently in the woods. <laughs> Oh, I like this one. Artists, more teeth. More teeth. More teeth. More teeth. More teeth. I'm gonna give you two minutes to draw more teeth. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one. More teeth. Now, the way you say that just makes it sound like it's a different word entirely. More Not as in... Teeth. More teeth. It's more teeth. More Go, teeth. Uh... <laughs> more teeth. Teeth on the vents. Everybody does love more teeth. Who doesn't? I'll ask you. Just, just anybody, anybody out there in the world who does not enjoy additional teeth. Well, I know, they grow in tumors. You can find them inside <laughs> lampreys. They're just all over the place. And lampreys, oh my gosh. Do you know about teeth? I forgot about that. Oh, oh teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? He's in fact the goodest boy. Mm-hmm. Are you getting the reference of what the good boy is from what I've drawn? <laughs> uh No. <laughs> no. Especially when I go, who's a good boy? If you're not familiar with uh the workings of uh, Welcome to Night Vale. Oh man, I haven't I haven't caught up on Welcome to Night Vale in a long time, and I need to. Yeah, oh, that's uh, there's one season where there's a dog in it, and that's like the thing. One of the parts of it is they talk about how he's such a good boy, and then <laughs> he turns out to be like freaky. It's really <laughs> like, it's one of the best Hands down, like, parts of it. <laughs> they do some really good uh, um, acting in it that really, really pulls you into that episode. I just like, <laughs> you sort of freak out a little. Ooh. I went and saw their live show one of the times that they were here in Boise and like, man, if you get the chance to go see any non-video related bit of entertainment, like, go check out a Night Vale live show. Uh, did you, uh, which one did you watch? Oh, man. Uh... I don't remember. I remember it had uh, Tamara, the, the like girl from oh. the library. So you're, you got. probably watched uh, the Glow Cloud. Yeah, that was the one. Pretty sure. We went to Salt Lake to see that one, and uh, yeah, it was a bit of like it was a lot of fun to watch that. 
the drive sucked, but I mean, when we went and we did uh, the show, watching Cecil upstage like perform and then fuck up, and he like bumped his microphone, about knocked it over, and he grabbed it. And he's like, I about knocked over my equipment. Thankfully, no one could see that. Since I'm on <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant, just like expertly done, where he saved the day and saved that fucking like beginning of the show. Just oh man, nailed it. <laughs> yeah, he just grabbed the microphone and just like held his arms out to be like, no one saw that. He's like, good thing no one could see that I about knocked over my equipment because I'm on the radio. <laughs> Marvelous. But you know what? I think that this image has hit its peak. I think that this canvas is full and it is time to move on from Big Mama Mushroom, her teeth, and our best friend Cinderblock, and the goodest boy in the spooky And you're... Your teeth reference didn't take away from the Night Vale vibe of this as well. Mm-hmm. No, no. This is a spooktacular. You should feel comfortable and having a good time. <laughs> I am in my element. I love how the teeth are in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> teeth trees. Yeah. They're just kind of on the ground everywhere. Like, I don't know whose teeth these are anymore. You know what, Spooky Dinosaur, do you know whose teeth these are? Uh, they belong to the smiling one. The smiling oh. one. You mean the one who comes from the land where the smiles are all teeth? Just as much teeth as you can get. I mean, the bigger the smile, the happier you are, the more teeth you show. The <laughs> smiling one is pleased. The smiling <laughs> one is always pleased. Always teeth. Anyway, let's move on to our intermission now that this has gotten suitably dramatic. Spooky Dinosaur, you have prepared a thing for us, have you not? Yes, I have. Is it time for intermission? I believe that it is that middle ground time. Normally, I try to give you guys an artistic break and I will take shoutouts from the crowd, but I think I am going to instead take inspiration from you. Okay. Give me a moment to switch over our soundtrack, Mm -hmm. and we will get the show on the road. You're so needy, Wendigo, you're so needy. (laughs) Oh, is that your kittles? Yes. Oh, little meows. I'm in the chair, so she needs the lap. Oh, pretty baby. I'm going to make you draw your cat later. You know that, right? Yeah. All right. Which one? Uh, that one. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to read dramatically? Yes. All right, then. I will begin the music, and you may begin at your leisure. All right. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, the rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the fair and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. 
This it is, and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I open wide the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token. And the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely there is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment on this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door. Perched upon the bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door. Perched, unsat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, Thou, I said, art sure no craven. Ghastly grim, an ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear his course so plainly. Though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door. Bird or beast upon the sculpted bust above his chamber door with such name as... Nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on the placid bust, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather then he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, Other friends have flown before. On the morrow, will he leave me? As my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken. Doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store. Caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster followed fast, and followed faster till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never 
nevermore. But the raven sitting, uh, still beguiling all my fancy and is smiling. Straight I wheel the cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, this grim, ungainly, ghastly gaunt and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking. Nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease rec- on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er? She shall press. <sighs> Nevermore. Then revolt the air grew denser, perfumed by an unseen censer swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy god had lent thee. By these angels he hath sent thee respite. Respite and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil. Prophet still, if bird or devil, were the tempter sent. Or where the tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil. Prophet still, if bird or devil. By that heaven that bends above us. By that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Be that word or sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token to that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart. And take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven. Nevermore. And the raven never flitting, still is sitting. Still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight over him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. It's 
Spooky. Nice spooky read for a spooktacular episode. Ooh. Mm -hmm. More As and more ghosts? consistently, uh -oh. this channel seems to be brought to you by poetry. Poetry. <laughs> Inciting emotions in humans for, uh, well, you know, that one time till now. <laughs> I'm still going at this bust, I'm really sorry. I tried to get as much as I possibly the... could in the timer, but I think that you finally beat me on that one. On the pallet bust, a palace? Mm-hmm. Because I don't know what a palace looks like. All right. And with Yeah, like, that... we don't know what a... what goes hoink, so... Yeah, you Good. got me. No. <laughs> I've been pinned, finally. We're seven episodes in, and I've finally been got. Been <laughs> Easily got. 14 hours of drawing circus, and finally, I am the one who is bamboozled. <laughs> He's been bamboozled by poetry! That's his weakness! No, oh, jeez. Not culture! <laughs> Thank you for the bits! <laughs> I'm glad that my failings can be worth a uh, monetary reward. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, is that the secret now? Mm -hmm. Apparently, I just have to be more bad at stuff. <laughs> and also bring better, like, readers and poets on the air than I am. <laughs> that, gang. Are y'all ready to launch into the second half? Yes. My fingers are nimble and I'm ready to draw. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. And also, hooray. Uh, more cowbell. More. More cowbell. There's there's two minutes for more cowbell. Are you ready? More oh, is that cowbell. what we're drawing? Yeah. More cowbell. Oh, I thought it was just a joke. No. <laughs> That is that is the introduction. The introduction to this is more cowbell. Actually, I'm gonna give you three minutes for more cowbell. Really, get wild with it. You ready? You prepped? You feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Wait, when did Mr. Krabs get in on this? Can I? Uh, that's a great question, and we'll answer is that after the cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> or during it, whatever. I'm not a cop. <laughs> Three, two, one, cowbell! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Rose Stonkstress agrees. More cowbell. Artists, more cowbell. Artists, more cowbell. <laughs> I I feel like I'm missing something here. More cowbell. <laughs> the community keeps giving me prompts that are just strange. <laughs> We'll get to them at some point, but I don't know that I can stack an entire round full of some of these. <laughs> I could try, but boy, it would be really hard for you guys. <laughs> That's what you do for us. <laughs> it isn't difficult for your artists, and you as the host is not trying hard enough. Definitely not. That is certainly some more cowbell artists. Excellent. Excellent! <laughs> Project Zin admonishes you, artists. Your cowbells are not spooky. Oh... Hmm. Spooky cowbells. <laughs> it is a spooktacular! It's in fact the last spooktacular. Halloween's a coming, everybody! Duck and cover, oh god! Oh man. These cowbells. How can it be the last. How can it be the last spooktacular? Don't you know that this is the beginning of the spooky time of year? And it will be spooky until it is no longer dark throughout most of the day. 
It's true, looming on the horizon is such terrible things as family gatherings. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, you know, well, I don't want to get into the uh, winter part of Spooktacular because we're still in the autumn part of Spooktacular and I just don't jump from holiday to holiday, skipping other ones. It's a slow transition. Honestly, I thought you just celebrated Spooktober year-round. Five seconds, by the way. Yeah, we leave up uh, autumn decorations Pens all down. year because Pens I don't, artists. I don't uh, acknowledge any other time of year. Just autumn all year for me. Mm -hmm. I've seen you wear a scarf in summer. I am impressed, frankly. <laughs> I, it uh, is the source of my power, and if I ever am never wearing then I lose who I am and I can be overtaken easily. <laughs> My entire being is in that scarf. It is. It's, it's one of your horcruxes, if I remember correctly. Uh, I guess so. I was just thinking that, like, who is Spooky Dinosaur is in that scarf and it was ever to be worn by someone else. I would then take over that person's body and then Spooky Dinosaur would be them. Oh. Oh. That's... And my my shell of a purse of a, of a form would just you know, dissolve. It would blow away in the wind. I'm gonna shuffle this straight into the Dresden Files. <laughs> so you know what? I need y'all mm. to switch sides. And we're gonna revisit a concept from last time. I need you to make sure that this person is driving a cute pumpkin car. Are you prepared for this? In a yes. minute. What layer are you on, Adrian? Uh, layer two. Okay. I should probably be working on... Arg. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I should also probably be working on those top layers. I'll make drawing later easier. I'm on layer three if you need that one. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, we've made the we've made more cowbell into less cowbell. Okay, so... No, what are you... Spooky cars... <laughs> Pumpkin cars, but I'm drawing on dinosaurs. Yes. Okay. We are swapping sides. You're I'm drawing on me? Oh. <laughs> Call that a Can tattoo, and they're very expensive. I can't get your layer. It's not working. Down on. Just draw on another layer. Down on well, I'm layer trying to three. I'm trying to I was minimize on... you. I was pretty sure I was on layer three. It's yeah. not letting me shrink you. It's not? Try another. Nope. Try another layer. I'm gonna get meddlesome again. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely just on layer three. How strange. Boop. Like Yar? Yeah, that's good. Thank okay. you. No problem. All right, artists. I'm gonna give you two minutes to put this drawing in a spooky car. Spooky pumpkin car. Here we... Or three minutes, sorry. Three, two, one. It's a nightmare of perspective! There we go. There's the the pump cranes. <laughs> Do I keep hitting all of your prompts, Rose Songstress? You're submitting really good prompts then. Cause I'm really pleased with these. Oops. Let's see. <laughs> making making friends with the circle tool over there? Yeah, I'll do whatever I can to win. <laughs> Ooh, using the entire program. I'm not sure that isn't cheating. Uh, I'll stop drawing then. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you sass. <laughs> and also, also a two-minute warning. Ooh. I can't get anything again. Stop erasing. Jeez. <laughs> Is it set to eraser mode? Yeah. There you go. Found it right. Me? No. I'm just on a race. Oh. 
Whatever. I'll I'll take the lose. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we can figure this out. Over in the over in the brush panel, there's like a little. Oh, no, no, I'm. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Gee. Yeah. Not an idiot. It's alright. Just incompetent. Sometimes it toggles on and off, and it gets stuck that way. I've been yep. there. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare of tool usage, <laughs> and not just perspective. I'll just use this one. <laughs> I got something to work. All right, there you go. You got your ability to create and not just destroy. We might mm -hmm. we might take another lap on this one, artists, due to technical difficulties. Yeah, being incompetent. That's technically a technical difficult uh, like technical difficulty, so <laughs> everyone has problems with different things. Some people have problems <laughs> with hard things. You know how it is. Adrian, do you have any problems with things? <laughs> yes. Lots of you have no idea. Man, she got 99 problems. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna- I'm gonna give you guys an extra two minutes at the end of the round here. Just to- just to- just to make sure that this comes to fruition. Ah, I don't like these. <laughs> Sour Power posits Genjis. It's always Genjis. <laughs> Genjis are always the problem. Oh, Just keep on cruising. We're going to take another two minutes on this. These are going to be some high quality pumpkin cars. <laughs> Mr. Krabs and the flying cowbell in their spooky pumpkin cars. <laughs> Oh man, it's getting headlights and everything? Oh yeah. Ooh, the high beams are on. I hate when they do that. 60 second warning. Like that prompt, Project Sin. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Oh, my. Mine just looks like there's a pumpkin behind him about ready to crash into this guy. <laughs> I guess that's a kind of driving. Alright, pens down, artist. Pens down. My pumpkin is the driver. He's his own vehicle and his own driver. It's its own independent squash. Who don't need no man? Nope. <laughs> squash aren't pumpkins. <laughs> I'm gonna go back on that pumpkin rant from earlier. <laughs> That's okay, but <laughs> while you're doing that, can you also add Garfield the cat? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, oh. gonna give you two minutes to draw us a Garfield. Garfield. Hold on, let's uh, look this up. <laughs> Have you seen a Garfield before? A Garfield? A Garfield. You know, he has his own movies, kart racing video games. Uh, brand of- by the way, I googled A. Garfield and I got James A. Garfield, the 20th United States President. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I was wondering, honestly. <laughs> it turns out that's act totally what you get. It's uh, A. Garfield, yes. Yeah, wow. Dang it, I gotta retool that joke for later. <laughs> Can you draw me a Garfield? Which one? Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave that entirely up to your discretion, but I am only going to give you two minutes to do it. Are you prepared? 
What side are we drawing a Garfield on? Uh, ooh. Oh my. I'm gonna have you swap sides there, so that you're drawing this Garfield on your own imported pumpkin car. Okay. Alright, are you ready? Yes. Oh, I am ready. Three, two, one. A case of the Mondays. <laughs> Can't find the right orange. This that looks right, huh? <laughs> I'm I'm really pleased that you were going as far as to critique your own color choices for this Garfield. <laughs> like this is gonna be on branding. <laughs> this looks nothing like Garfield. Oh my word. I don't know, I think it looks like Garfield. <laughs> so far. A magical person. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I had already come up with it before you looked up that his name was Agar. <laughs> James Agar feels. I shouldn't have done the Googles. Oh, whoa, thanks for the bits, my dude. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 second warning. Oh, he's a very fast Agar. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. He has to be. All right, artist, that is time. Pens down. <laughs> Pens down. Your garfs in whatever states they may be <laughs> have been have been contributed. <laughs> oh man, these things are so great. Just love. <laughs> Oh, but what would bring these Garfields here other than some lasagna? I'm gonna give you guys oh, two minutes course. to draw the lasagna dispenser. <laughs> what? <laughs> the lasagna dispenser. Okay. It dispenses the lasagna. Are you okay. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Two minutes, three, two, one, pasta. I enjoy that both of you have vehicle mounted the lasagna dispenser so far. Why else would he be near that vehicle? Yep, exactly. I mean, no I guess it could reason. be pumpkin lasagna. So let me tell you, <laughs> there is there is pumpkin lasagna. Is that a That's there? All. Yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of things you can make with more than just pumpkin uh, foods. But yes, um, it is a thing. We might have to do another dramatic reading of the recipe for pumpkin lasagna. Okay, I'll have to go get it from my uh, my cupboard if it isn't already packed away. We'll do that. We'll do that after the show. <laughs> Lolar is offering additional points if it looks like something from the Fallout universe. <laughs> Sixty second warning. Oh, I need my tool. Oh man, it's got an entire magazine of lasagna trays in there. <laughs> You're gonna step on that lasagna tray. That will stop him from reaching the vehicle and assassinating Mr. Krabs and his cowbells. That isn't bacon, that's lasagna.
I mean, I didn't have to tell everybody. that you could just see it. I could tell. I could yep. totally tell. That was know. Alanya. Yeah. <laughs> As that artist pens down, that's time. <laughs> well, the prompt, Robbie, was the lasagna dispenser. And I believe that they have done some ace work on the lasagna dispensers. But we are dealing with a society that has built vehicles that the natural byproduct of their locomotion is lasagna. So you know what that means. Do you know what that means? No. Oh, no, he was asking that guy, not us. Oh, it okay. means there's rats everywhere eating all of the lasagna. It's disgusting. I'm going to give you guys three minutes to just draw a horde of rats, just an ocean of them everywhere, all over the roads. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just awful. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, gro it's so gross. They're everywhere. I don't want it. Oh, no. Oh, just... Cl close the doors. Let's never go outside again. It's just, there's just rats everywhere. Why? Why do there have to be rats everywhere? Oh. Oh, jeez, these rats. There's so many rats. <laughs> Garfield has apparently formed an alliance with that rat. <laughs> yeah, they used to know each other back in the day. Back in the war years? Back then, yeah. Mm, I see. I like how our rats are just potatoes with tails. <laughs> oh, they've got cute little earsies, though! Alright, I'm coming around on these rats. Adrian, you're making these rats really cute. <laughs> rats are cute. Have you never had a rat before? I've, I've had a rat. I've just never had an ocean of them around on a like active freeway that is covered also in lasagna trays. <laughs> I feel like context is important, you know? At least sometimes. This rat is swimming in the lasagna, doing the backstroke. It's so stoked. It's like, oh, lasagna baths. Every day. Thank goodness they invented pumpkin lasagna cars. <laughs> what would we do without those? We'd all be dead. Very dead. Deeply, sadly dead. Onward! Says this rat. It's going to be very unhappy the minute that he puts his foot back down. Adrian, have you had rats as pets? has had a rat pet yeah they're, they can be sweet yeah like they're just yeah. as cuddly and adorable as any other pet that you could get yeah i agree i like i love all kinds of animals but i kind of like the ones that are misunderstood you know oh that's yeah. sweet <laughs> like people more, more love hmm? i like people that are misunderstood <laughs> oh, that is it pens down artists there's no misunderstanding how many rats there are on screen. Like, my God. <laughs> There's at least seven. At least. <laughs> I'm sure someone will do the counting for us, but we got to do something about all these rats, right? I mean, as cute as they are, they are just kind of all over the place everywhere. And so with this, we need some kind of a, some kind of a Pied Piper, but he's really into Burning Man. Oh God. <laughs> So I need you guys to draw the post-apocalyptic Pied Piper. Gonna okay. give you, eh, three minutes seems good. Three minutes. <laughs> you ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be three, two, one. The Pied Piper pipes, pipingly. Oops. 
Obsidian Fox recounts 34 rats. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of your rat drawing abilities. <laughs> See, I only bring the best on this show, folks. You can tell, because of all the rats that they can draw. It's on the application form. Oh, that Pied Piper is breaking Ugh. it down. I'm having to start over. This is hard. Was it Adrian's Pied Piper? Because my Pied Piper is, you know, he's all right. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing I don't even have, I don't even have one yet. Oh, okay. Come on. It's in the Burning Man, huh? Does Mr. Crab count as a dirty business rat? This is a question for our time, Lolar. Thank you for bringing it to the table. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this Pied Piper bears no relation to our good friend, does it? Um, there's only one person who dresses this way, and I drew him my first show. <laughs> this is what, like a six-week callback and I caught it? Yeah. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> I'm proud of this. I'm gonna print that out on a gold star and give it to myself, because I don't have any teachers to do it for me. <laughs> Nothing says post-apocalypse like leather underpants. Brought to hey, you by he's... nuclear bombs. He's uh, into Burning Man, I thought. <laughs> yeah, Burning Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. These pipers know how to party. <laughs> that was real good. <laughs> ten seconds, artist. Ten second warning. That's when he gets crappy features like so. Ten seconds, oh my god, I gotta go! <laughs> Heads down, that's it. I, I, deep down, I really do enjoy doing the 10 and 30 second warnings and watching the pens just move that much faster. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, I think that we have gone as far as we can with Pumpkin Car, More Cowbell, Garfield, Rat Horde, Pied Piper Men. <laughs> Love your Pied Piper, Adrian. <laughs> Look at that expression. She's like, meh. Can I, can I flesh that expression out later and make it a uh, an emote on the oh, server? Yeah. I really want that. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna title this one Pie Pipers. Piping. Yeah. Piping hot lasagna. Mm -hmm. Pied piping hot. Just an industrial tube of, of lasagna everywhere. Yes. It's just, it's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, we will move into our final round. I can hear the sigh of relief. Oh, lordy. I'm not going to have to draw any more of this dumb garbage. <laughs> For at least one evening until we get you back on again. Because mm -hmm. the circus ain't stop. That ain't how it do. It be go. Everybody knows that. <laughs> All right, so we've got to have two minutes. And for this final round, we, it's got to be taking place somewhere very extreme. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to collaborate on the establishing setting. Ooh. And the setting is a surfacing submarine. Are you ready to turn this canvas into a surfacing submarine? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Three, two, one. Scramble to establish a scene. So, do you know how to dress him? 
Do I know how to draw a submarine? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I asked uh, if y'all were ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'll, I'll draw the surface. How's that? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. You want it? How about the surface? Do you want the surface right about there? Nope. Where do you want it? You can do it further down. About. Okay. Somewhere in there. Wait. I'm on layer two, by the way. I'm on layer four. Okay, good. I just want everybody to know that the layers are not linear. The layers go, and this is the order. Layer four, layer two, layer one, layer three, layer five. Wobble's dumb layer for idiot game show hosts. <laughs> and then the background. <laughs> this is a high quality submarine. Everyone's favorite, perhaps. Come on. Do, 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 do. So Adrian, you don't do Halloween anymore. I know that you've done a comic book that's based around Dia de los Muertos. Do you celebrate that holiday? Yeah, so me and uh, girls do. We always try to go to one of the local events. Um, and I really like, I mean, I love Halloween, but I also really like uh, the Day of the Dead just because it's so, um, I don't know, just respectful. And, you know, you get to remember people that have passed on and talk about mm -hmm. them. And I think it's a really awesome thing. Do you also do yeah. the big feast with the candlelights to lead them back home? And No, we've like never done that. We've never gone okay. that quite that far with it. Um, just the sugar but... schools? Yeah, we've done sugar skulls. We've uh, made some of the like altars, you know, uh, mm -hmm. candles. Have you ever uh, gone celebrated to an or did it? Yeah, celebrated it. Well, I took uh, Espanol for about two years, so I'm familiar with Dia de los Muertos, and I uh -huh. I also really like. Um, what they do with it that they yeah. it's all family oriented it's yeah to honor past ones that have uh gone from our mortal realm it's a, like it's the day after halloween so it's the, the first of november back uh like where the veil between the living and the mm -hmm. spirit realm is at its thinnest so it's a, like um i'm not sure how much you know about it because i know uh little so do you want to lighten our listeners on Dia de los Muertos, or oh gosh, I'm I, uh... interested in hearing about this. What do you know about it? Me? Well, I'm no. Yeah, I, I know that in Dia de los Muertos, there's a lot of really, really cool art on skulls, and it also <laughs> was the visual inspiration for the uh, adventure game. Uh, I can't think the of the name game. of it. You, you played as Manny Calaveda, Grim Fandango. That's the one. What is that? Uh, Grim Fandango is an old LucasArts point-and-click adventure game that I am very fond of. It recently got a remastered edition, too, which I don't know if it's good or not. Maybe we'll play it on, on the video games parts of the Wobbly Python channel sometime in the near future. Because cool. it's definitely, definitely worth knowing about and checking out. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt, Adrian, seconds. after I asked you about um, some enlightenment on the holiday. Well, I'm not an expert, and so if anyone in the chat is, I definitely invite them to share. Uh, but what I know is kind of similar to what you said. Uh, Nathan is, you know, the veil's thin, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's a time where you, um, you know, think about those that have passed on and acknowledge them, and then people that take it all the way think that um, you actually get a visit or could get a visit from those people that have passed on. And so sometimes you leave uh, little gifts out, you know, on the offering of food or whatnot to kind of entice them to come in or flowers to lead them uh, in a direction mm -hmm. that they should be going. Yeah. Interesting. Help, yeah. The, help the spirits guide their path to you so that way they can enjoy. Hands down, uh, artists. 
time is up. Sorry to interrupt you so abruptly. Right. <laughs> I'm genuinely well, we interested in that. But the art can't go forward. The art has to stop for the time being. I'm gonna give us two minutes to add the thing that is so dramatically happening. There's two snails star-crossed in love, and this submarine is bringing the snails together. Oh. Artists, are you ready to enable the snail romance? Yes. <laughs> we are. I'm gonna give you three minutes. Three, okay. two, one. Snails in love. So I'm going to make a land mass over here okay. where one of our snails is waiting. I just want to complete this because it bugs for me. For her true love here. Okay. Beyond the sea, out there waiting for me. <laughs> My love is strong, golden sand. Sorry. <laughs> we all know that one. It's It's so wonderful. <laughs> it's all about these two snails. Mm-hmm. Also about never wanting to go out to sea again, but that's less romantic, I guess. Sailing is scary. Well, it was also a time of war, and it's just like, yeah, I don't want to go back. Yeah, not into it. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> Can I get a no, please? Anyway... Let's go back to Dia de los Muertos. Yes. <laughs> Two minutes. Adrian. I don't know if there's much more I can share. How about, um, so whenever we, whenever I go out to the store, they always have the Halloween uh, decorations out right now, but then they also lump it together with Dia de los Muertos. Um, to me, I'm not fond that they do that. Not that they yeah. are putting out Dia de los Muertos, it's just that they're two separate holidays, but yeah. they pretty much are just like, it's Halloween, guys! Check it out! It's it's <sighs> similar, right? And it's like, no, it's really not. Yeah. Um, so I've seen people react differently to that. You know, I've seen some people that don't care and just like, whatever, people can celebrate whatever they want. Right. But I've, a, but I've seen a lot of people actually be kind of disappointed, um, sometimes a little bit offended too, because it is to some people considered, you know, more of a sacred holiday, you know, and then seconds. to just get lumped in, uh, mm -hmm. lumped in with Halloween or to be called like the Mexican Halloween yeah, or, or to even use uh, it as a costume during Halloween. Um, yeah. You'll, you'll hear lots of different, uh, lots of different perspectives on that one. Mm hmm. Well, it's like, well, they are two different things. Halloween is about being scary. It's, well, it's, um, it's just completely different. Like you said, one of them is to honor your, uh, your loved ones that have passed. And then the other one is about, it's a more of a scary holiday that has nothing to do with, um, your loved ones being gone. It's, it's a spooky holiday. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, really and kind of an interesting representation of those, the way that these cultures approach death. It mm -hmm. really is. Some people yeah. are real spooked by it, and other people, there's just a thing there. Well, Five seconds, by the way. Well, it's like with death, uh, for them, with death, it's not the end. Uh, and they, still, they still enjoy their loved ones coming to see them when uh, they've passed away, so they, they honor them that way. So it's not like, oh, boo -hoo, my loved ones are gone. It's that, it's like, we'll see them again at the day as well as Martos, and we'll have, like, to honor them and to love them. Peace so. loot. I would, er, Vsalu5, thank you, thank you for the sub, ah. I appreciate it, my dude, and also the follow, if you're enjoying this, then we do this every Saturday at 9pm Eastern, I just want you to know, uh, on that note though, I believe that it is time that we introduce the element that these snails have been running from this entire time, there's some very suspicious lizards that are tailing them. I'm gonna give you three minutes to add the suspicious lizards. Are we okay. ready to begin? Yep. All right. Yes. Three, two, one. Suspicious lizards. Anyway, please continue. Actually, I'm really interested in this. Like, we're running a show around it, but I'm actually kind of very interested in this day of the dead conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting real sidetracked by this. 
All right, I'll make some lizards like actually crawl into the ship too, like they. Well, welcome to the show, Vizerlu Five. So another thing that I kind of heard, and again, if someone wants to correct me, that'd be awesome. Um, is that when you look at the sugar, like the sugar skulls, they're supposed to be happy, you know. And so if you're drawing a sugar skull or painting your face like a sugar skull and you're putting you know spiders and scary stuff all over it that's really kind of not the point you know there should be co bright colors and flowers like you're still painting as a uh, skeleton right but right. it's not supposed to be like death terrifying death type mm -hmm. yeah that's that like they're trying to lump two holidays together but um they're not the same thing so yeah it is that i could see where people would be feeling that it is a disgrace to their culture and uh, what their what their like beliefs are by being like oh look it is it is the same thing yes <laughs> uh, how we're including you i i would like to go on a tangential rant regarding mm -hmm. this whole thing in which this entire debate could largely be avoided if we stopped treating our festivals as a rotating stock in a store just for the seasonal section, which by the way, most of the year Sorry. is the Christmas section. Which <laughs> puts me on a different rant about holidays. <laughs> oh man, I was in Lowe's today getting some stuff and Sorry just, there. oh my gosh, there's Christmas stuff everywhere. Please mm -hmm. no. <laughs> At least yeah, I was trying to at least November I was trying to hasn't avoid yet. any. Uh, yeah, I was trying to avoid any uh, Christmas talk because we're not there yet. You're right. I'm sorry that I brought it up. It's just how invasive <laughs> it is, like it, these lizards. It's hard to uh, get around it, which is unfortunate. But... Really. Mm -hmm. But we're here to get spooky. I know. So let's make these spookier. <laughs> Mine's got a little cell phone here. He's uh, communicating with you. Mine is, what since he's mean? suspicious, he's wearing a getup while tailing them. <laughs> and so he actually has tails based off of the one that he's chasing after. <laughs> so close and yet so far and that's pens down that's it we have added the suspicious lizards but you know what would make my heart swell for these snails if while they were coming into port as it were here there was a beautiful flock of bird squids flying by 99 bird squids fly by I'm not drawing 99 of those. Not, yeah, no, 90, not 99 would maybe be a very terrifying and intimidating quantity of bird squids. But, you know, some. I'm gonna give you three minutes to add bird squids. Three, two, one. Cephalopods, guys. Bird squids. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a different color, guys. So, want brown bird squid? Spooky no, is occasionally what you make of it, Project Zin. <laughs> this is starting to look like a weird SpongeBob SquarePants storyboard. <laughs> storyboard. <laughs> I'll try to throw some spookiness in on these squids. <laughs> that squid's face is so good! <laughs> Little squiddle upon. Oh, Robbie is coming at us hard with the squid facts. Please, compile your squid facts. <laughs> I don't want to hear them unless they're spooky. Yeah, bring us only the spookiest of squid facts, please. This is a spooktacular. We're talking about Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> talking about Halloween, pumpkins. 
Let's get some spooky stuff talking about. <laughs> I feel like this is pretty spooky. Uh, fact one about squids is apparently that squids do not give a single fuck. No fucks. <laughs> squids roll hard. <laughs> squids roll hard. <laughs> they ain't care. They ain't scared. <laughs> Bring it on, squids. <laughs> I wanted to get on the topic seconds. since Adrian brought up, like, you were talking that the sugar skulls are not supposed to be scary or represent something like that. So mm -hmm. I wanted to get on the topic of uh, scary things that, like, affect people that we, like, that affect, you know, essentially humans. What it scares us. Like, the, the, the skull, essentially. Yes, for most people, the, the like, a grim face of death is something terrifying, whereas in D. De Los Martos, the skull isn't a spooky uh, like, icon, like idol, or, you know. Yeah. But basically, the uh, <laughs> humanity <laughs> fear the, the things, uh, like, uh, some of the verses from The Raven that I was reading, just stuff that Pens that down, are, artist, pens down. But please what? continue. Fear. What is fear to us? Yeah. My pen is down. Very good. Fine. Very good. Are you prepared for the final thing? The the final cherry that we will put atop this image? Yes. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds, and it is a literal cherry. I would like you to put a cherry on this image. Are you prepared? Sure. <laughs> yep. Alright. It's gonna be three. Two, one, spooky cherry, go! Should we collaborate on this cherry, or...? 60 seconds! <laughs> we don't have the time! Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, okay. oh no, no, no. <laughs> My layer's on top of yours, ha huh? ha. <laughs> well, I was gonna help you out, but if you're just gonna color in more... <laughs> 30 second warning! <laughs> I don't I think that could have gone better. <laughs> don't give up! Don't give up! There you go. 20 seconds! We need a stem. <laughs> oh, oh, 10 God. seconds! You you spooked a fat. You spooky it. And, um, well, I was trying to give it a face, but your layer is too far oh. above mine. <laughs> I'm on layer four. Pens down, artist. Pens down. That's it. That's that was your that was your spooky cherry <laughs> on top of the entire night that we've done here. That is a really high quality cherry. Wow. <laughs> that time pressure really set it home. Goodness gracious. And with that, we will bid the Drawing Circus good night. If y'all out there have really enjoyed this, please consider supporting the show. All of the, the subs, Patreon, like all that stuff. It's big help. Uh, the biggest thing, though, is just sharing the show. You know, find episodes, toss them out there, watch some of the old stuff. I've got it over on the YouTube. Hopefully y'all will like that. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like to be involved with it directly, you can just hop on down into the Discord and join in. All it takes is a web connection and a microphone, and just get on the Discord, get on voice, use the program that we're using, Drawpile, to get on the canvas with us, and we'll hang out. Which is a thing that we do after the show, so if you're interested right now and got nothing better to do, feel free to pile on in. Now, <laughs> Adrienne... Where can we yes. find your stuff out in the wild? Where can we find more artwork for and by you? So my most recent artwork, um, you guys can just find that by watching me on Twitch. Um, just click on my name there, Adriani K. And um, I stream usually a couple times a week. Um, otherwise, you can look up Adrian's art on Facebook or Adriani K on Instagram. That is fantastic. Spooky dinosaur where are you out in the world on the internet? You can find me on most of those um, popular social medias. Uh, Instagram, 
you find me at the spooky dinosaur um facebook you can find me at uh, facebook.com backslash i dot am dot nathan v that will take you to my spooky dinosaur page um and those are the big ones that i post to so um if you want to find anything out that is physical if you're in the boise area i've got a um a monster show piece over at the swell art collectives gallery in uh, the 8th street market that one you can find uh at swell art collective my nosferatu so nice and spooky image for the halloween season not bleh it was silent (laughs) Um, and those are the things i have right now i'll have uh some more things that are coming up in the future we've got the krampus con in boise if you're in the area that'll be the 8th of december where we'll have uh what hold on (laughs) what 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 i had to yell at someone they were telling me to get back in my hole (laughs) because we're still prisoners in your art show (laughs) well you'll be free very soon i would like to encourage everybody to check these guys out follow them you know on the internet follow their work don't follow them home that would be weird Mm -hmm. but with that unless you're already here (laughs) oh right if you're on the discord like feel free to to, you know share your work talk to people hang out make friends that's what we're here for but with that i'm gonna pass you guys off to the voice of dog who is doing a playthrough of the seventh guest just to maintain this spooky energy and with that it's gonna be good night folks good night good night